here's how to make DIY watercolor curtains. You can totally make these yourself. I sewed my panels and um, you can use store-bought panels if you want. I just used some basic cotton fabric. And here I laid out some table covers that are like for birthday parties on my driveway. And then I soaked the panels in an 18 gallon tub of water so that they would get really, really wet. So the trick to this technique is making sure that the curtain panels are really wet. Um, usually you want to kind of wring them out a little bit so that the dye doesn't run as much, but uh, it won't blend as well if you don't have it wet. So here we're just spraying the actual dye, the powder, right onto the fabric and it's dispersing just like watercolor would. We added some extra water to that bottom panel with just the garden hose because we're outside. And because of the scale of this project, that's why I did it outside. Um, then we started stacking the panels. And what we're doing here is we're sandwiching a blank panel between each panel that we add color on. And the reason for that is as these panels are sitting stacked together, the dye is going to soak through all the layers. And that's going to give us that really nice washed, like watercolor wash type feel to the curtains. So we just keep stacking a plain panel and then we stack on our next color panel. And it's best not to do this on a day that's really windy. Um, here you can see the wind kicked up a little bit and it's taking some of our dye with it. Um, because we were doing this outside, we we're kind of at the whims of nature. Now you could get the dye wet. It'll give you a little bit less intense color, but it'll give you some more control. We're also using the Tulip One Step Spray dye to give us a little bit more control with that pink and the red. Now once all the panels are stacked up and dyed, just roll up that plastic sheeting and let it sit for six to eight hours. Then you're gonna rinse it out and wash it in your washing machine. So here are the panels hung and this is showing the sunlight going through the panels. It's a really nice watercolor type effect. So thanks for joining me today. I hope you'll hit that subscribe button and try your own watercolor home decor.